So you've seen some streamers out there playing through their console, but somehow they had their controller showing on their screen like this, and you wanna know how it's done. It's actually pretty easy. Stick around and we'll show you in just a few simple steps. All right, so before we dive into the how-tos, there's two things we need to do up front. Number one, make sure your controller is plugged up via USB to the computer you're wanting to stream from. Number two, if you haven't already watched it, go watch the video that I've done on how to stream from your console to your computer without a capture card. It should be linked up here above and down in the comments. Go watch that real quick and then pick up where you left off on the next steps on how to get this done. All right, now that we all have our controllers connected and we know how to stream from our console to our computer without a capture card, the next thing we need to do is open a web browser and go to gamepadviewer.com. Once we've gone to this website, you'll see down at the bottom, it says there's no controllers detected. Press any button and we'll be able to continue. Once you've done that at the top, you'll notice a bar that says currently viewing none. We want to change that to player one. What you'll see by default is a black Xbox One remote. If you see the Xbox logo beside player one, you can actually change that to a few different options. Everything from a white version down to the PS4, all the way down to an NES controller. For now, we're gonna stick with the white Xbox One. Once you've picked out the version you want, if you'll notice the little three bars on the left-hand side, select that, and then down about midway through the screen, choose Generate URL. What this will now do is it will list player number one, which is fine, but then the skin, if you notice here, is the standard Xbox One black by default. We want to change that to the Xbox One white, as I mentioned before, and then you'll notice it has adapted the actual URL up top. So if you click anywhere in that box, it will copy it for you. All right, now we have the URL copied and we need to get it into our streaming software. I use Streamlabs. So if you're using something else like OBS or one of the others, the exact steps might look a little different, but the same end result's going to apply. What we need to do is add a new source that's going to be a browser source. So I'm gonna click on the little plus symbol here and select browser source. If you haven't added one previously, you'll click down here to add new source instead, and you can label this whichever you want. I'm going to label it controller. And then choose add source. What it will do is it will bring up a new window that has a URL option. You don't have to worry about any of the other settings because the DPI doesn't really matter or the size. So if you go in and paste the URL that we've previously copied and then just click done, what you will notice is it will now show the gamepad on your screen in the same outline as the option that we selected back from the actual website. It is red and it's listed as disconnected. Same as we've had to do previously before, press any option on the gamepad and it will now light up to the selection you've done. I choose the white because I feel like it's better to view it, it's more visible, and it's a little more clear for when you're doing stuff like your thumbsticks than if it's on the black option. So now that we have the controller on the screen, we need to bring up our Xbox through the Xbox console companion app as we've shown in that previous video. So choose the stream option. It will launch into the Xbox and what you'll notice this time is it no longer brings up that warning that there's not a controller connected because your controller is now connected through your computer. And what you will notice is it is actually showing you on screen when you make changes using your joysticks or the buttons to select options, you will see it actually showing you there. What I would recommend next is now launch into a game and then you'll be able to take your controller, resize it to the size you want, put it in the location that you want that works for whichever game it is you're playing and you're actually good to go. That's it. If you have any other questions or comments, please list them down below. If this was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thanks so much for hanging out and we'll catch you on the next video. Have a good one. Knocked one. Knocked another. See ya.